Hello, my name is Lexis Walton, and this is my project for information technology management. Here are some of the things that we'll be covering today. I'll give you a second to read that before we move on. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Skype is a telecommunications company and it was started in August of 2000. Here is the list of the founders and co-founders of Skype. He is one of the founders of Skype. He is the other founder of Skype. I started with these two because they are the main founders of Skype. But before starting Skype, they invented Kazi. Back in the late 1900s, early 2000s, Kazi is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program that allows users to share music, video, and other programs with other users within their network. Kazi was and still is a great program in the company was a huge success thanks to these two but they sold the company to start Skype but they did not do it alone they did have the co-founders which are This was the team, the foundation that invented, created, and is still innovating Skype today. Skype is so huge because it allows users to communicate via instant message, voice calls, or video meetings, video conferences. Do you know what makes Skype so great? It works on a laptop, your cell phone, your tablet, and even your television set. As long as your device can connect to the internet, it can use Skype for free. Skype has done so much for the IT world. 
just like social media, Skype brings people together. From a personal standpoint, you can keep in contact with people, whether they're in another country or if you're lazy and they're down the street. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Skype will work. From a business standpoint, you can hold meetings and interviews through Skype. And this is a great way to save time, effort, and money. And there's so much more. The things you can do with Skype is endless. In 2011, Microsoft and Skype teamed up together. I can't wait to see how much they grow and innovate. The future for Skype looks very bright. But that's about it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Hope you enjoyed my presentation.